Yep, information involved. Conquer Tower information, Golf 1947 Zulu observation, wind 280 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 24, dew point 4, altimeter 2996, visual approach in use, landing, departing, runway 32s, status to airmen, taxiway Charlie between runway 32 right and taxiway Alpha closed, taxiway Bravo between runway 19 left and taxiway Mike closed, Cannon NDB, out of service, Concord VOR airborne receiver checkpoint, out of service, has this weather information for California coastal waters available in high wash or flight service frequencies, use caution for birds in the vicinity of the airport, advise on initial contact, you have information to call. Concord Tower information, Golf 1947 Zulu observation, wind 280 at 7, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 24, dew point 4, altimeter 2996, visual approach in use, landing, departing, runways 32s, notice to airmen, taxiway Charlie between runway 32 right and taxiway Alpha closed. We already heard all that crap, so we don't care about that. Check, can okay. you hear me? I can hear you. Your noise canceling on? My noise canceling's on. Your noise canceling on? I can hear you. Okay, uh, did you hit the power button though? Power button's on. Okay, cool. And then uh, the volume at the top, it's a stereo headset, so adjust them at the same time. Um, and you might want to put your mic closer to your mouth. Is that better? Yep, oh, yeah, perfect. Better. All right, so we uh, have ATIS. Mm -hmm. All right, and what's next? Uh, altimeter nav route. All right, so altimeter 2996. Okay. Program that in, 2996. Go up here, 2996. Okay, our navigation route is programmed. Okay. Autopilot. Autopilot is taxi checked. call. And we'll go up here and do our taxi call, so clear behind. We're not gonna blow anyone away. On our stratus too and connect this to that before we go anywhere. All right, so uh, we're going to use the black part of the pedals to steer down the taxiway, and we're going to be mindful of that shiny red Mustang. Okay. All right. And just stuff it under your legs is probably easiest. Uh, oh, foot? Yep, foot. <laughs> Put your hands on your knees. Can't steer at the there wheel. There you go. The yoke. My left foot, but we're staying off to the side a little. Exactly, just for the car. Otherwise, we'll be uh, center line yellow. Always taxi nice and slow because this is the most hazardous part. Like I said, anytime you're on the ground, that's where the hazards are driving or taxiing. Okay. All right now, we'll go back to the yellow line. All right. You're going to remember keep your left foot over the yellow. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to stop here. This is our movement area to Towered Airport. Okay. Um, so we have to get permission to go anywhere past this solid and dashed line. Okay. And um, at Auburn, it's a non-towered airport, so we basically talk to all the other pilots in the area, and we self-coordinate taxi, takeoff, everything. Here, they organize everything for us. Okay. We'll do our taxi call. Concord Ground, Cherokee 2863 Mike, Northwest Hangars, with golf. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Concord Ground, runway 32 left, taxi via Juliet, cross runway 19 right, on taxi via Juliet. Okay. 3-2 left via Juliet, cross 1-9 right at Juliet, 6-3 Mike. 6-3 Mike, Miss Pinterest to verify you have information golf? Yes ma'am, I have golf, 6-3 Mike. Thank you. Even though I told her that, but there's some train, tra uh, people in training here as well, so I try to give them uh, easy time. Alright, so uh, we're going to follow this curved line to the right. Beautiful. And remember to release a little bit of pressure when we're uh, up here. Keep going. There you go. Okay. Right there. I'll find the brakes, so that's what yeah. makes me nervous. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure the silver part, if you look. Yeah. And then, uh, so that we're on Juliet, and we're going to okay. taxi straight ahead. That's the sign there. And we're, yep. Right. And we're going to take off on this runway that's actually right next to us. That's where we'll be departing this way. Okay. And uh, but we're going to taxi down here, and we'll see. We're going to cross 1-9 right. We'll see the red runway sign like that. Okay. And we'll say 1-9 right, 1 left. And we're clear to cross that run. That runway only. Okay. And then right after we cross that runway, you'll see a, uh, a spot to your right. See, we're right here. So we're going to cross that runway, and there's a little run-up right there. So we're going to go to the run-up. Okay.
that just extra room for you to get speed or no the run-up is uh where we're going to do a ground mechanical test so we're going to go through the uh we're going to bring the engine up to 2000 rpm we're going to uh test the magnetos test the carb heat and make sure everything looks good mechanically and all the gauges are in the green and we're warmed up and all that stuff before we take off all okay. right so we're approaching one nine right and one left so we're going to check left and we're going to check right and make okay. sure our short and far finals are clear which they are okay Power's pretty good, but I don't trust nobody. Right. We also make sure that our taxiways are clear, too, because sometimes people will come off of an active runway and then they'll fuck up and not oh, check in with, to. yeah, or check in with uh, ground. And I've heard him yell at somebody coming down the runway before. I'm like, what the fuck is this person doing? And they're like, excuse me, can you check in with ground, please? <laughs> Okay, so that was where you got permission yep, to cross. We got cleared across okay. there. This is the next runway up here. We're not going to cross there. Okay. This is where we're going to take off. This is our run up. Okay. Notice what the wind sock is doing. We always want to do our run up into the wind. Okay. We're going to turn here. And we're going to. I'm going to apply some brakes. Slow down. Sorry, I right. forgot I to tell you what to do ahead of time. And uh, hard right. Uh, right about here is good. And we'll apply brakes. Soft. Perfect. We're gonna put our, actually, let's go up just a little bit further just so we're out of the way if somebody else comes up and can fit multiple planes in. This is kind of a really fucked up run up area because it's, all right. Put on our parking brake. Okay. Uh, bust out your checklist. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be at the uh, run up. We During taxi, we checked steering and brakes. Right. That checklist is complete, so now run up. Your brakes set. set. Elevator trim, take off. Elevator trim is set for takeoff, so that line right here is kind of fucked up because it fell off, but that line is uh, our takeoff line as a, as a reference. Okay. Primer in and locked. Primer is in and locked. Fuel pump on. On. A okay, mixture set. Orich. Throttle 2000 RPM. Okay, so and I always shadow my feet on the brakes as well just as an extra security. You're holding my, it. Yeah. Okay. So we go nice and slow up to 2000. And right about there looks good. Okay. Enunciator panel test. Checked. Okay, magnetos. Okay, we're going to go two left. So okay. one, two. There should be no more than 150 drop, and there is okay. about 100, which is perfect. All right. Go back two to the right. It should go up to where it was at 2,000. Okay. Good. We're going to go one left. The 100 drop. There's no more than 50 between them. That's good. Okay. We're going to go back one right, and we're back up to 2,000. Okay. Okay, so now we test the car beat, car beat next. Yep. So we turn that on like that. Should see a slight drop at 50. Okay. We turn it off. Should see a slight rise back to 2,000. All right, your ammeter charging. Ammeter is down here, that's charging. Okay, oil temperature. Oil temperature is in the green. Okay. Fuel pressure is in the green. Oil pressure is in the green. Okay. We're gonna turn off our boost pump. Okay. And we watch the fuel pressure. Still maintains in green. Okay. And now we bring Throttle it back to back idle. To idle. Yeah. For me, the checklist turns into a do list. Yeah. So I memorize the flow because I do it so much, and yep. then after I'm done with it, then I go back through and I go, okay, check, I did everything. Okay. And then flight control is free and correct. I'll let you do that. Okay. You're just gonna. Oh, so right. Yep. Up. And left. Up. And we pull okay. back. Make sure back and down work. Trim is going. Yeah. Cool. Good. Okay. All right. Flight controls are free and correct. So okay. now before we uh, take off, we've got instruments, instruments to mag. So three, two, eight. Uh, 328, we're pretty close. Okay. 33. Three. Uh, departure brief. We already kind of went over that, but we're going to be taking off 32 left, which okay. is right here. We, we, we're confirming that we're at 32 left a few different ways. We're here on the map. Okay. We can see it visually in front of us. We've yeah. got a sign there. The other thing we do is we turn our uh, heading bug to 32. I'm messing up here. There we go. 320. So what should happen when we're on the runway is that heading bug should be at the top, okay. and that will, because the numbered accordingly to the heading, right? So that we've made sure we, I visually identified the sign, okay. our heading bug lines up, and we, there's also a big huge 3-2 on the pavement. We make sure we identify that as well. So we have three or four checks that say, yes, we're on the right runway. Okay. Doors and windows latched. Okay, uh, yeah, we'll do that. And remember uh, our 700-foot rule for emergencies and all that stuff? Yeah. Let's bring that uh, closed. Just, Just 
Clunk. Let it go. Yep, clunk. Don't use that, though. Use the arm handle there. Yep. All right, now down. Up. Hold on. I think oh. we're... Yep, you're good. You're good. We'll make that closed. Perfect. No okay. light. No light. All right, doors and windows are latched. All right. Uh, carb. Pedo heat's heat. off. Okay. And pedo heat's off. Carb heat's off. Flaps That's are it. set for takeoff. We're going to do a normal takeoff with okay. uh, no flaps. Fuel pump and selector. Uh, fuel pump is on. Selector is on the left. Okay. Engine gauges. Green, green, green. And we'll check them again on the runway. Okay. Mixture set. Full rich. All right. Land nav strobe lights on. We got navigation lights on and landing lights on and the strobe lights are on. All right. Uh, clearance time. We don't really maybe. care about that, but we'll do it anyways. So we're looking at 1307. All right. Cool. All right. Normal takeoff. Yep. Normal takeoff. Okay. And we'll have our map up here. We'll Before we take off, we'll bring up what we need for Auburn. So we're going to bring up our Auburn airport information here. And then we're going to bring up our map that has that. Our plate will bring up Auburn. And now we have an Auburn airport diagram, and I've already drawn in the traffic patterns. Okay. And then uh, we're good to go other than that. So we'll bring up our map, and then we'll put our plane center on the map. We're good to go. Okay. okay. So now what we do is we switch to tower. Okay. Make sure we're on COM1, which is this, 119.7. It confirms tower. And we're good to go to talk. Okay. Concord Tower, Cherokee 2863 Mike is ready to go. 32 left. Request a right crosswind departure. Cherokee 2863 Mike, Concord Tower, my 32 left, good for takeoff, right crosswind departure, please. 32 left, clear for takeoff, 63 Mike. Concord Tower, Tesla 01, whiskey, two mile base. Oh, yeah, we get to deal with all the fun uh, Asian uh, flight students, too, and I can never understand what they're saying. So. Right, <laughs> the option, make right, clear traffic on the go. Okay, so you can go ahead and steer us onto the runway there. Uh, clear for the option right. number two. Oh, right there right we there go. We've got marker three two. We've got three two left here, and uh, we're going to go on the runway and we're going to go center line. Start turning right about here. Okay, lined up on the center. Our heading indicator matches. We're good to go. So uh, give me nice slow full throttle. Okay, and keep your hand on the controls, feet on the pedals. And nice gradual full power. Uh, wind check. Clear left, clear right. Wind three. Oh, yeah. Airspeed right. is alive. We're all the way maxed. And we keep our hand on the throttle until we're... Uh, I'm going to keep my hand on it with you, okay? okay. And airspeed's alive. We're looking at 60. We've got green, green, and green. And we're going to rotate back slowly. Uh, there we go. Pull back a little bit more. Just, just right there. Perfect. Keep your hand on the throttle, or if you want to put it on your knee, I'll put mine on the throttle up to you. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Where's your climb? Uh, oh, vertical speed's right here, okay. and this is our airspeed right here, so we're okay. looking for 80. Okay. And we're right, or 79 actually, but we're at, uh, I usually just shoot for 80, it's fine. Okay. We've got three of us on board and it's a little warm, so we're not climbing as fast as normal, so we're just going to climb past the, or we're going to go out straight past the refinery. Okay. Um, and that way we're not getting cancer as we fly over. <laughs> got you. Thanks, Ryan. I have to work with it every day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, we've got a big old plane going into Travis, but no yeah. other remarkable traffic for us to worry about. Six o'clock, two miles, six hundred feet below. Do you see? There's a plane. Is that the same plane we're looking at? I'm not sure. Out? Uh, uh, that's not the traffic alert. The traffic alert's behind us. But okay. There's another one over there. I don't yeah. see anything. I'll see I off. All right. We're at 800 feet. We're going to make a right-hand turn so we clear right. Clear right, yes. Clear left. This is 0 3 left runway 1 and a right. Cross runway 3 2 left. Contact ground. Point okay, we're going to turn right there. That's about perfect. Right, and then okay. we'll cross. 3 2 left and contact ground. Okay, that's good. Uh, let's start to grow, gently uh, come out of the turn. Okay, perfect right crosswind. Thank Concord Tower, 5.90 entering. And let's uh, go... 5.90 report clear. 
heading right about there. If you keep that blue at the top of the dial, so give us a little bit of a right turn. Just going to intercept back with our course over here, but not at too much of a great angle because we don't care when we get there. We're just having fun. So. Cherokee 60 mic traffic ahead to your right, Ace Atari 1000. Feed indicated. Roger, we'll be looking. Yeah, actually, yeah, traffic in sight, 63 mic. Pipeline 90 traffic uh, off your right, 1300 feet indicated. A uh, Cherokee right there. east on has you in sight. Okay, yeah, make sure we're well a little bit back. Make the turn to the west. Actually, you're good right there. Let's keep it there. I'm going to put our heading indicator, or our, excuse me, our altitude uh, at 5,500. That's uh, our intended cruise altitude. Hello. And so we're just going to climb uh, right at about 90 is fine because we don't need to get there quick. So let's keep our airspeed right at 90. Okay. You're and, that's, and, and that's all with the stick, right? Like yep, I control exactly. that up and yeah, down? Yeah, exactly. So okay. your altitude or gotcha. your attitude um, controls your airspeed at this point. Okay. Do I need to go a little... Uh, no, you're fine. You're okay. right, right there. Uh, a little bit more to the right, though. And that's good, right about there. You can see our pink line over in the distance here. We'll just intercept that. Okay. And I figure we'll get there so we can get there and eat first, and then on the way back we can do a few maneuvers or whatever on the way back and mess okay. around. But let's get lunch first, because that's the most important part of the day. Okay. <laughs> Then, and then make sure that I puke when we do it. Clear for the option. Yeah, we're out of Concord's airspace, so I'm going to switch over to uh, Travis now. Talk to them. Let me feel the controls real quick, just to make sure we're trim. We're doing fine, perfect. Travis, approach Cherokee 2863 Mike, flight following request. That was hard. Cherokee 2863, Mike Travis, first Travis, number 2993, Identity State Destination. Auburn, uh, Kilo Alpha Uniform, November. And room, room number one, Romeo Delta, cross Travis, uh, midfield, for Alpha. Uh, number one, Romeo Delta, fly heading of a 300, and as for the vectors for multiple traffic in the Travis arrival pattern. Okay, left turn to 300 for additional vectors for traffic. One room here, Delta. Off to your right, just a little bit. One room that they can contact Travis Arrival, 128.4. They're vectoring him, they're probably going to vector us, so we're going to need to stay to the right of their airspace there. But you're good. Right up about one room there. Delta on the frequency change. One room Delta, if I'm going to contact Travis Arrival, 128.4. Travis, uh, Air Force Base is that big runway Delta. over there. Okay. And number six angles here, just verify you'll be maintaining at or above 6,000. Uh, affirmative, we'll maintain at above 6,000. Six tangles here, Roger, contact Travis, approach on 132.1. 132.1, and you need to be stay at, at six above 6,000 for your entire area. That's up. Uh, six tangles here, you can expect your descent later with the okay, next we're controller. We're above 1,000. Uh, Go ahead, great. get and your uh, uh, checklist up. Frequency for next controller. I'm going to go climb checklist. 132.1, 32.1. Climb checklist, yeah. VXBY. So we're at uh, 80, which is VY. Okay. Uh, trim. Uh, is that for Cherokee 63, Mike? 16, Mike. Walk 4227, 4227, and say I'll do climb to. 4227, 5500, 2863, Mike. Okay, Mike, Roger. Um, so go, we were climbing at VY. Yeah, trim for climb. Trim, we're pretty trim because you're not fighting it. Okay, uh, fuel pump off at desired altitude. Usually a thousand, so we're good. Okay, landing light off. We're gonna keep it on below ten thousand because I uh, have an LED and I don't care. Okay. And cruising, we're not there yet. Yeah, we're not quite there yet. So you okay. can stow the checklist for right now. Just about intercepting our course here in a little bit. Okay. And then we're just going to continually monitor. We we don't want our uh, cylinder head temperatures, which is right here, to get above uh, 375. Really, keep uh, make sure we're heading over this way, right about like that. Um, so that's managed by not overworking the engine and fuel flow going into the engine. We make sure our oil temp, fuel pressure, and oil pressure is all in the green too. So uh, we're climbing at a nice gradual rate. So we should be fine. Seven five seven November Quebec Travis approach. Seven five seven November Quebec. And on 7 November, I was giving you a traffic call, but you weren't responding. 
Off to your left, if you look over there, you can see a uh, Travis Air Force Base. You see the long runways over there? Oh, yeah. It's uh, kind of hard to see runways from the air, but... All right, then we're just going to intercept the purple line. Okay. Just can't believe how smooth it feels. Number nope. 7, number 1, can just remain this frequency for an on to more foot traffic. There you go, nice and gradual. So that's good enough for now, because we're not all on the line yet, so just kind of okay. keep heading over that way just a hair. And we'll get over it. Once we're over it and the bottom of the line is in the center of the screen, then just turn it in, fully intercept it so it's uh, up and down in the in the window there. Okay. There's a lot of things you got to look at. Oh, yes. So the b biggest thing to remember is like a constant scan. So yeah. I usually, this is your six pack. So you have your airspeed. Uh, mine's a little advanced. This does everything. But normally you have your airspeed, your attitude, your altimeter, your turn coordinator, directional gyro, and your vertical speed. So you just do a quick scan of all those. Scan your GPS, scan outside for traffic, make sure you're, main, you know, you're at the right altitude airspeed that you want, and then just continually kind of keep scanning. Beautiful day today. So clear. Mostly it's that up and down that I get. Yeah. You're not like looking level, you know, it feels like you're... So you can actually tell if you look at the wing, you can see the wing back slanted back a little bit. Yeah. And once we level out, you'll see the difference. It will actually be flat, you know. Yeah. And the front is actually almost going to look like we're pointing at the ground to a certain extent. But it's uh, but we'll be flying straight and level. So it gives you more of a view of what's ahead of you. And you'll see the wing go pretty much flat. Yeah. Great. Now what I'm going to do is lean the mixture just a hair. You can keep doing what you're doing, but we're going to watch the uh, the uh, RPMs, and they should go down just, or excuse me, up just a hair. Okay. We're leaning the mixture because we're up at altitude now, so the re the motor requires less fuel because there's less air particles at a higher altitude. So as soon as it starts to dip just a little bit right there, now we know that there's too few fuel, so we bring it up to the maximum RPM and then just a little bit more than that, and that way we have sufficient amount of fuel for cooling as well. Forty three hundred feet is out of the correct. Right here you have a digital version, so you have airspeed, altitude, heading, this is your uh, turn coordinator, and slip and skid. And then the purple triangle here is actually your indicator, so it says we're a little bit to the left of the course. The course is in the dead center. Okay. So actually, why would it say that? Because uh, we're on... Oh, I'm sorry. We are the center line, the course is to the left of you, so you'd go towards the purple dot you okay. fly towards. I'm used to playing with that one. So same story. If the indicator is off to the left, you fly to the line, and then the line centers. Yeah. You don't have to make drastic movements at all. We're just yeah. nice and easy, everything. It's drifting. Yeah, remember we got about a 15-plus knot wind up here, and oh. we're going to maintain a little bit of back pressure because we're uh, going descending a little bit. We want to continue our climb to 5,500. And right about there is good. Climb at about 90. trip me out when they ask for the airport identifier because I'm so used to talking in the police alphabet which is a different <laughs> one than the aviation one so like at work I'll be running a driver's license and I'll have an N on it and I struggle not to say November instead of Nora like it's <laughs> it's a constant challenge for me to remember where I'm at and what I'm doing <laughs> up to your right over there you can see Rio Vista airport see the runway that's pointed right at us you have an airport yeah wow. I do see it now there's uh, actually two runways there. There's one pointing at us, and there's one that crosses it uh, left to right. It, it, that one's a little bit harder to see from this angle.
Can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So when you're doing your, you, know, you said try to fly like two, three times a week. Will you ever just do like, just to keep your skills up, like take off Concord, fly to Rio Vista, turn around? Like, do you ever just do little short hops? Just I, to I will, um, but I try to make the trip meaningful, and yeah. I call it so I'm not just boring holes in the sky, you know? So oh, yeah. if, if I'm going to fly, try to plan something fun. If uh, it's an issue where I need currency, so like, and what I mean by currency is that... 16 mine contact air cap press 125.25. 125.2563, Mike. Or climb down just a hair. There you go. It's hard for me to... Yeah. Tell you, sorry, 206, 3, feet. Oh, one second, I'll finish your question. Sorry, 206, North Cal Approach, Roger. North Cal Approach, Cherokee 2863, Mike. 5,200. Cherokee 2863 Mike, North Cal Approach, Sacramento International Altimeter, 2993, advised prior to any altitude changes. Wilco 63 Mike, 2993. 865 Papa Charlie 7000, uh, heading via the slammer to land north. Yeah, I try to make it a, a worthwhile flight, so I'll try to go somewhere I haven't been. Um, I have a goal to land at every airport in California, so I've uh, got about 12% of the state down now, so uh, most of the ones around here are complete, so I'm just uh, trying to uh, kind of fill in where I haven't been and yeah. where there's no purpose to go back to somewhere again, like I was somewhere the other day. Hold on one second. All right, we're, so we're approaching 5,500. What we're going to do is when we're at 5,500, just barely push forward just a little bit so we're level right here. It doesn't take much for us to slow down our climb in this plane. We're going to put the trim wheel forward just a hair so we are level. We're going to adjust our power right about there. Okay. And so let go of the, the wheel or the yoke. So that feels pretty trim to me. So let's keep it 5,500. And if you heard the instruction from air traffic control, they want us to advise of any altitude changes. So we're going to try to keep close to 5,500 because we're going to be flying over SAC International. And they've got a plan for approachals and arrivals and stuff. So stay close to the line, but try to stay on altitude. Fucking five up, Charlie. Cleared visual approach. That little blue bug is our, our marker there, if you see that. So if you put that blue... Area on the tip of the black, the, the black arrow in the blue uh, thing there, then that's what we'll be looking for. Okay. The other thing to remember is if we make a descent, the propeller will speed up. We have to make sure that we're not redlining it, okay. too. So, uh, like I said, mostly don't um, miss a lock on the altitude, but okay. that's kind of our most important thing uh, right now, and we'll stay close to the course. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so currency, like I was saying, is um, for flying passengers, you need to have three landings every um, 90 days. And it doesn't have to be a full stop landing for daytime, it can just be a touch and go. But for nighttime flying, you have to have three full stop landings at night, every night, within 90 days oh. to, in order to stay current to carry passengers. Gotcha. So if I'm like at a spot where I just need my three landings and whatnot, um, then I'll just, I'll yeah. do it real quick. Yeah. And uh, you know, a few things at Concord or whatever, and then and call it a day. Um, and then if you're feeling like we're having to push down too yeah, much, right, then we'll, let's, uh, we'll retrim it. And it's going to constantly change because of the winds, too. Yeah. So we got our 30-minute timer to switch tank alert. So we're yeah. going to turn on our fuel pump. And we're going to switch the tank to the right. We're going to let it have a, a minute to positively uh, roll over to the other one. Okay. And then going to make sure we watch the, the fuel pressure so we have green on yeah. fuel pressure it's a little above the white line we're going to turn off the, the boost pump okay. we make sure that the pressure maintains in the green and that is good so we have a good switch and then what i do is i turn off the indicator afterwards and that way i remember to do the full cycle okay i don't turn it off until i'm done going down now we don't say that we say descending <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, see the controls for a second, make sure we're just down just a hair there. Falcon 5, Papa Charlie, contact Capital Tower 125.7, good day. 257, 5, Papa Charlie, see ya. If we're plus or minus 100, we're, we're pretty good. That's, that's uh, a standard, so we'll, we'll try to drive for excellence, but no big worry if we're you know somewhere around 100. Okay.
All right, that should be pretty close or closer for you. Much prettier than I would have thought. Like just this, all the checkers oh, and it's the water. Gorgeous. Like I growing up here, never would have thought that it looked like this. This is pretty much California. I mean, yeah. it's it, the majority of it is like this. When you get over into the three, four, two, tango, up, like deserts and stuff, two, like seven, the north. Four. East of California, northwest Oregon, or northwest Nevada, southeast Oregon, uh, southwest Ute, or, uh, Idaho. It's like it's desert and it's boring and it's kind of like gross, but it's like beautiful at the same time because of the rolling hills and uh, some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen was on the way to, to Boise and it's just desert, you know. But it just it's gorgeous. So it must be just because it's a perspective that we don't. Right, yeah, so yeah. it's something totally different than we're used to. Well, well, the same thing with even flying through here. I mean, and, I mean, you look off to the left, you have the mountain range. Just over the, the hill back there, you might be able to see the bay. Yeah, and the then bay, Mount Tam. Up these hills right off the end of the wingtip, uh, Berryessa is stuck right, over there. right back there, yeah. So there's a, there's a ton of stuff. Um, this is the Sacramento River, I believe, off to our right. Yeah, it's and amazing. then directly up ahead, you see the Sacramento City skyline how far you can see and it's not even super clear like it's pretty no, it's, you have a little bit of a haze today but yeah. we, we're probably seeing in excess of 100 to 200 miles um, wow. I mean because we can see the Sierras from here yeah. I mean, it's yeah. pretty crazy it's pretty awesome. so if you can imagine what you know all the weather reports today said 10 mile visibility that's kind of the threshold 10 miles visibility to us is kind of where the bend in the Sacramento River is believe it or not it's not a whole lot and when you're traveling through the air right now we're going ground speed 100 knots so we're probably traveling about 100 and 10 miles per hour in a straight line. Wow. We're coming back will be quicker because we have a tailwind. But 10 miles uh, visibility isn't much when you have, uh, you're traveling that fast. Yeah. So I was used to training in this because you only train in the best conditions. It took me a little bit not to freak out when I had less visibility than this. And when we had all those fires, I had about five miles visibility at some point, and it's just like, <laughs> But legal is three miles, believe it or not. It's, it's pretty crazy. I mean, I'm like, my limit is five. I won't fly less than five unless I have an instrument rating, so. Yeah. Roger, fly heading 350 to the localized report established altitude, your discretion. All right, 350, and we'll report established altitude, your discretion. 5500, slowly. And so we'll be offset of Sacramento International enough to where you'll be able to see the runways off to the left, and there's two really wide runways apart from each other. You can kind of see them over there where that white square is. Yeah. That's the terminals, and then there's a big runway on either either side of it. Long so, until you got, like, calm, and you weren't just, like, I'm, like, stiff and sweaty, like, staring. What's that? Oh, yeah. Until you could, like, <laughs> look day. around. I can't yeah. even keep telling me to look, and I'm like, oh, and I'm no, you do what you, you need. I'm, I'm telling her, too, so you, you focus on what you need to focus on. It's and like I said, if you want to play tourist and I fly, no problem there either. So you just I, tell me what you want to do. I'm totally okay. It's I'm very nervous, though, like, yeah. no doubt. Like, Deep breath. Yeah. What I do is, um, like, if I'm about ready to go to a shooting or in a pursuit or something like that, yeah. take a, we call it combat breathing. In your nose, five seconds, nice and deep breath in your nose, hold it for five seconds, and then out your mouth for five seconds. And then do that about three to five times, and then it will bring you from here back down to here. So try that if it, uh, if it helps you. But I love that you call it combat breathing. When yeah. we, you know what we call it in the wellness world? Me meditative breathing. Yeah, <laughs> Relaxation exercises. Yeah. <laughs> same, same stuff, different uh, yeah. names for different totally. professions. Totally. Well, that's awesome. It's a funny thing about like, you know, no matter what profession you're in or what you do, there's always a common ground with somebody somewhere else. You just have to find, find it, it and figure out what it's called, you know? So. Yeah, no, but it's cool that they even teach you to do that. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's exact, physiologically and psychologically, it completely lowers your heart Absolutely. rate, lowers your blood pressure. So, you know, the, the funny part is I was interviewing for Sergeant once and um, I, I passed the written fine and uh, came out like tied for second or some shit like that. and. I go in to do the oral board and, you know, as Jim probably told you, I've been in the music world. I have no problem playing in front of people, you know, big crowds, public speaking, whatever. Not a problem, right? So I'm going into this oral board. There's three people, three lieutenants from local agencies, most of them which I've met, you know, before. Number 2863 Mike, contact approach 127.4. Good day. 127.4. Good day, 2863 Mike. Air 0126, altitude 2500. 3012, radar contact, 7 south of Lincoln, and walk 4504. 
Four five zero four zero one two. NorCal approach, Cherokee 2863 Mike 5500, and we'll advise of any altitude changes. Cherokee 2863 Mike, NorCal approach, Roger. Um, so, yeah, no problem, public speaking. Three guys, they're lieutenants from local agencies. We're not drinking buddies, but I've met them before, except for maybe one of them. And then my uh, captain's in there, and the personnel lady's in there. And, you know, I've, been, I've worked there since I was like 17, so I know everybody. <laughs> and, um, so went in beforehand. I did combat breathing in the hall just in case. I wasn't nervous at all, nothing like that. And then I go in there and I start talking, and I can feel my chest starting to tie up, and then the nervousness coming. I'm like, my body is doing this, but my mind is like, what the fuck is going on? Because there's no reason to be nervous. We've already discussed this in our head. We've done the combat breathing. I'm not mentally nervous at all, but my body is reacting. Uh, so it was the weirdest thing. It was like two separate, entirely separate things going uh, on. Yeah. And then uh, off to your right, uh, you might be able to see it. See the runway there? There's an airport there. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Sacramento Executive okay. Airport. So we're dead nuts on uh, with Sacramento International. See the big area yeah, there yeah, in the middle? No and then there's the Runways on the far side. Yeah, see yeah, that? yeah. Yeah, that seems so fast. Yep. We got the sack and uh, we're at 0. 0.6 hours now, and that includes all the time on the ground. So, literally 30 minutes up here, no, no problem. We could at least cut the time in half. If you had traffic on, we cut it into quarters. <laughs> There's the drawbridge down there in downtown Sack. You can see the uh, yellow yeah. one there. Yep. Like lining back up the Bay 80, right? That's uh, the yep. Road one, one of there. them. I'm, I know the roads when I'm on the ground, and I know the, the kind of the main features when I'm in the sky. I uh, I could probably find 80 though. 80 is going to be as uh, straight. It's off to our left, coming through that way. Yep, there it is, right there. Yeah. You can see it on the chart. It's represented on this line here. Gotcha. Cal Pro Chapman, HP 23, just off McClellan, 1,500. Coming up to 4,500 on patrol. Why are you doing great? HP 23, North Cal Pro, clock 5340, and later on. He's like, well, I kind of get sick. Do you think I'll get sick? I'm like, well, you won't when I'm flying, but I can't promise anything with him. So. <laughs> um, this is serious. HP 23, so. Sacramento, altimeter 2, 9 or 9 or 2. How long was it until you like you leaving fun? Until what? Until it became like fun, you know, like we're. Oh, I always fun. had fun. I Did mean, you? you know, I do life and death shit every day, so this is what I do for, to relax. So yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people think it's kind of weird, but. Uh, I don't think it's weird. It's my just... mom is terrified of everything I do. She doesn't know what to do. She's cried so many times throughout my Aww. growing up because I wanted to be a cop, you know. Four, six. Scared about that. One, I uh, two, five, ride four. motorcycles. I fly airplanes. Uh, music thing wasn't too dangerous, but you could deal with assholes at bars, so she was, you know, scared of that, but she's always crying about something. <laughs> oh, that reminds me, I forgot to tell her, I have uh, that messenger uh, thing, um, I have a, a function on here where I can have it send a takeoff message, it, and so it sends it to my girlfriend, my dad, and my mom. And, That's nice. uh, so I can know. press one button and it says I'm taking off and it gives them a GPS pin and then when I land I, I hit my landing one and then they can all be exactly like, worried about you or not it, worried yep, about you yep <laughs> well they'll figure it out you don't want to be tourist? No, I'm okay right now. All right. Same oh. on the way back if you want me to fly, and then when uh, that way you can enjoy the, the scenery and stuff, that's fine too, or parts of it, whatever. And then uh, when we get back over towards Rio Vista, that's the, the practice area. So we can go over there and we'll do some turns around a point and some, some basic maneuvers and stuff like that. Okay. You, just got, you just got completely... Uh, brain must be... We have no idea we're going to do this. I don't even know why you're talking to me, actually. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to talk to you. <laughs> and so many things going. I like, know, your yeah. brain. Doing good. 323 traffic, 11 o'clock, 2 miles, northeast town. So uh, over off to your left in the distance, you'll see Folsom Lake. I was yep. just thinking that must be Folsom. 
I was thinking we could tell if the trees were like, I see some like red trees, but I don't see like major fall foliage. We will once we get up into the foothills. And up ahead of us is McClellan Airport. You probably see that big airfield or big uh, brown spot there. That's McClellan. Okay. And then off to our right over there, uh, you can see Mather, that big runway that's kind of going diagonal from us that way. You see that? Do you see it? Out right, off the Not you, her. No. You see that? I do. Okay, cool. That's where I work. Oh, yeah, is it? Right behind Want to go buzz them? Oh. <laughs> 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 Probably should. Number two, North California, for the contact. That's right, I forget you're from up here, so you know. Yeah. Different from the air, though, probably. It is. But I do see him. So. Yeah. Runway 33 News. Uh, I remember this from when I was real little, the first time I was ever in an airplane. He flew around my house a bunch of times, and we flew out of Rio Linda Airport. Okay. It should be like, it's uh, right next over there. to that airport. Yeah. It, there it is, I can see the runway next to the water ski lake there. Okay. The, the waters. I do see it, yeah. Right yeah, to the yeah. left of there, you see a little black line. I do. Nice, yeah, that's where we flew out of. I, I haven't been there yet either. Sacramento. So, see, it's nice being the passenger sometimes too, like for me, because I don't get to. So it is kind of a treat, right? Yeah, I have somebody to fly my airplane. I can actually like dick off. Number two, two so. traffic, <laughs> eleven to ten o'clock, three miles, northeast on Cherokee, three thousand. Your website is fun, Ryan. Is that just like a part of your part of your hobby? Just to yeah, just a, something I put together, and, and I I mostly did it for. You know, I, I don't really like Facebook that much. Yeah, like so. friends and family, yeah. Exactly, friends and family, and then any other uh, pilots that I network with, it helps me. Uh, yeah, share stories. Exactly, and I can say, hey, oh, I did that trip. Check out my website. I got pictures of there, you know. Yeah, that I'm not a, like, I'm not all about, like, every flight I have to video and post or something, but, you know, starting out, it was really fun, and, and, um, I, I kind of had another goal of like every approach to all the different airports in California. I'll video each approach and stuff, but I was like, I, I'm not doing that because then it it makes it too much work, you know. I, I want yeah, it to you be want fun. fun. And so when I think about it, if I'm going to some place cool or whatever, or some it's somebody's first time or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll throw on the camera. But I'm not all about that. Oh, on your what is this one called? This here? Yeah. That's a turn coordinator. Okay, what are the lower lines? Uh, here where the wings are? That's, so if you were to dip the wing and make a left turn, and you put the wing tip on that line, that's a coordinated turn. And if you held that for two minutes, you'd make a 360 degree turn. If you make a coordinated turn for one minute, you're going to turn around 180 degrees. Then your your ball is your uh, turn, one turn right uh, sitting zero seven zero. Blanking on the name of it, your uh, turn coordinator as well. So if we press on the right ball or press on the ball to the right, it's going to coordinate us our, our flight there. Okay, so your adjustment when you pushed on it, you had to bring yeah. the turn out. Yeah, to you. exactly. Because it's the one that will force you over. Yeah. Also. And, yeah. and kind of what it is right now is because we have the crosswind, so we're yeah. just uh, like slipping a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah. Rio Linda thing there. So right next to the Rio Linda airport, there's a little quarter midget track. So it's a little circle next to it. Right if you can see that. That's uh, where I race little cars when I was a kid. I see it now. It's, it's at right. the end of the airport, right? Yeah, it's yeah. right next to it. That's a little quarter midget track for when I was a kid. Oh, that's great. I used to race against like Jeff Gordon and a bunch of the sprint car guys when I was so. That's where we ran from. Is that where you, that was like your home base for your... Yeah. Yeah, that's where I learned how to drive a car, basically. He was driving at age four, Ryan. Oh, wow. Racing pro. Shows our landing time. ETA is uh, 1.50. That can't be right. Oh, the daylight savings, maybe? Oh, yeah, 56. you're right. Yep. <laughs> I forgot this doesn't change automatically. <laughs> I was like, that's not right. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, so it should, like a plane right should be a 12. There is a plane right below us. Oh. oh. T6, yeah, I saw that one on the alert. It's a few thousand feet, though, below. Turkey, two Tango Alpha, do you plan on doing a straight in? Affirmative, two Tango Alpha. Okay. 
have about 15 minutes left, and um, our pattern altitude there is 2,500. So we need to, let's put in, two, two, just focus on flying. Field tower. November 7-0, Papa, contact approach 125.4. 125.4, 8270, There you go. That's now 3 Mike Sierra, contact approach 125.4. 3 Mike Sierra, 125.4. All right, so yeah, now we'll show our, yeah. give us a top of descent point. So when we hit this point right here, it says TOD. Yeah. So we'll start making our descent, and that will be a 500 foot per minute descent uh, into Auburn. Okay. And it will alert us. You'll hear like a doorbell. It goes ding. That's like, hey, wake up, dipshit. It's time okay. to go down. Number one, Golf Victor. Traffic two miles west of your position. Southeast bound altitude indicates 2,700. One, Golf Victor, we have that traffic. Site. It's like McClellan has a museum. Yes. It's cool. Yes, it I'll have to, have to go there. There's a little plane scattered around there. How easy you slip in altitude, just oh, yeah. look off it's and like, I'm like, whoa, I'm 100 feet lower already. So you'll get to the point where you will be able to hear the altitude change by the motor. So if you're climbing, you'll hear the motor work harder. If you're setting, you'll hear it work faster. And okay. so you can, if you tune your ear to that, then yeah. you'll actually be able to relax and not look at this a whole lot more because you'll, you'll do it as part of your scan. But you'll be able to know by, see how the wing is nice and level now, like I was saying? Yeah. Okay, wing's level, and I hear the motor doing the same thing, so now I'm pretty sure I'm, you know, staying close. Yeah. Shark, I have weather information. Air Med Tango, update 4, available on high watch, flight service frequencies. Tango off traffic, 11 o'clock, 2 miles southeastbound, altitude indicates 3,400. Okay, two tango alpha. Nation A was 119.37. <laughs> just told me about that. I just I was one step ahead of it. I just programmed it in there. So <laughs> we can listen to Great. the weather. Density altitude. Oil, Victor traffic, two o'clock, three miles Zero. southwest bound Zero. altitude indicates 2,500. One Gulf Victor, we'll look for that traffic. Auburn Municipal Airport, automated weather observation. One Gulf Victor, where are you going for the airport? Four, five, Zulu. And we'll go Victor. We're going to start on the line here. Zero. We're going to start to the left and head south. Visibility. More than one. Traffic on the RNF-33 approach to Lincoln is a Cherokee 2000. Temperature, two, one Celsius. Two tango out the traffic. No factor. Verify established on the approach. Altimeter, two, niner, niner, four. Inches of mercury. Remark. Density on the runway 33 approach Lincoln. Zero. Zero. Service terminated. Walk VFR. Change to advisor. We can see approved. VFR, uh, approved, uh, school VFR. I'll give you a little cheater tip here. See the green crosshair? Yeah. Put the green crosshair up at the base of the, uh, where it says K-A-U-N. That's yeah. uh, where the plane will end up. So we're, we're, we're flying technically kind of sideways, but that's because of our wind. So the GPS is correcting for our, our wind correction angle. Okay. So by putting the crosshair right where it's at, that will end us at the airport, if that makes sense. Okay. So they told us our wind at Auburn was 2.5. And uh, here it says variable, but it said 5 knots. But they happen to have a runway 2.5, so that's uh, perfect. So we'll brief our... Um, Sent an approach real quick. So the runway is 25, you know, 270 is due west, right? Right. Okay. So 25 is just a little shy of that. Okay. So it's essentially going to be going a little bit this direction, but mostly like this. Right. We're going to approach on a 45 degree angle to enter the pattern, which we should be set up perfect for. If you look here, see how that we're coming in there? Yeah. So we're already on a perfect angle to come in at a 45. We're going to take uh, between the second and third line of rivets, kind of on this side, those rivets on this side of the red. We're going to line up the edge of the runway with about those rivets. Okay. And that's going to put us in the appropriate spacing for a downwind when we're at pattern altitude. Okay. So we're going to make our downwind with the, the runways here. We're going to go 
45 into a downwind. Parallel it. We're going to go out until we see the runway 45 degrees. Uh, we'd like flight to our left base to, turn uh, until we see a -A -A -X just about per uh, perpendicular to the runway. Then we're going to make our final turn. Okay. And as we uh, parallel the runway numbers, if the runway numbers are at the tip of my finger, as soon as we hit that point, we're going to bring down the throttle to 1500 RPM, and we're going to bring one notch of flaps. When we turn the base leg, we're going to bring in a second notch of flaps, and when we turn final, we'll bring in the final notch of flaps. When we uh, have our top of descent uh, here, we're going to throttle down to 2500. And we're going to descend at about 120 knots, which should give us about 500 feet per minute. Remember all that? Oh, okay, good. Let's go on 27.11, contact approach, 125.1, good day. I was just going to tell you, Ryan, you're such a great teacher. 25.1, <laughs> 0 5 thing, radar, contact 6 miles northeast of Mason. So if you do take lessons, uh, she'll show you my website. Um, but a lot of my Currently, lessons uh, I videotaped and I have on there. And I think that that is the best thing that you could possibly do because you can feel how much shit is going on right now and you can't remember anything and blah, blah, blah. There's our descent. So it says begin descent in seven seconds. So we're fine to do it now. So bring the throttle back to 2,500 just to hear. Delta level 2.5 with request. Actually, I'll hold on a sec before we do that. Yeah, we have, we have to notify them of altitude changes. Uh, yes, sir. I just wanted to confirm that uh, you have us for the uh, press of the ILS approach into Sacramento Mather with vectors. When we dealt the negative, I do not uh, show that request. Did you tell the last controller, or was that Travis approach? Uh, I was off with uh, Travis initially when we took off. We dealt, yeah, they don't forward that along to us, uh, but I will show the request. ILS 22 left now with the approach terminate. This will be a full stop. One wind out the rider flighting, zero five zero vector to ILS two two left Lima's current. Zero five zero left turn and we do have Lima, uh, one Romeo Delta. NorCal approach Cherokee two eight six three Mike request BFR descent to Auburn. Six three Mike descend to your discretion radar service terminated squad BFR for the king approved day. Roger, good day, six three Mike. He basically said, fuck off. So we're not getting any uh, radio or radar advisories anymore. I can tell by ADSB that there's no targets here, but not everyone has ADSB. So now we're not going to have radar advisories, so Robert we need to be Traffic vigilant to uh, uh, Bravo Romeo, traffic. Miles, okay. uh, south, the RA, left downwind for 25. So he just did the uh, his self-announcement for Auburn. So we're going to do the same. We're right at about 10 miles out now. Okay. And uh, we're going to bring our descent in, so 2,500, and we're going to dip down to, we want this needle to be at about 500 feet a minute here. And we are going to be descending, so try to uh, make sure you're like opening your mouth and yawning and stuff to level the pressure in your ears. And we're going to do our call now into there, make sure we're staying on course too, don't like miss a lock on that. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike is 10 miles to the southwest. We'll be joining the left downwind for 25 on the 45. Auburn. As we get closer, we'll holler out an altitude too, and that way people know where we're at. But uh, we're probably not going to be at 120 exactly because we uh, have a headwind. Got a little British girl. Sounds like her boy or something. All right. Um, what was I gonna do? We Might have need to slow down a little more. Um, here, I'll just yeah, I'll bring this. Down. And you're good there. Just keep it at a uh, somewhere around there. And then we can also. Do you feel like you're fighting forward? A little bit. Okay. So trim wheels right here. So uh, move it just very slightly forward that way towards the front of the plane until you feel that you're not pushing anymore. Feel about right. Yeah, then you can take your good. hands off the controls a second and make sure we're... Yep, that's about right. Okay. You just a quarter inch or more there. Go. Um, okay, so now I'm going to set our altitude bug at 2,500. That's our pattern altitude. And you're doing good. And then we'll turn our map here. We'll go to procedures. Okay, so now we're going to kind of break off of this, see where this line is. 
pink, the blue one? A pink one, yeah. yeah. And then the end of the blue. So that is basically where we want to go to enter the traffic pattern on the 45. So you can parallel this and we'll just have a longer downwind or you can go over to the pink line. This is a reference directly to the center of the airport, but we want to reference into the traffic pattern. So, like I said, don't miss a lock on it, but just uh, keep us somewhere close and we'll be, be good. A few planes coming in there. And right here I have a uh, distance right here. It says how far we are from the airport, so that's how I do my distance calls. Or I can look at the rings and guesstimate, but that's the precise way. And that is the airport right ahead, in case you didn't notice. Okay. Where do you see planes? Uh, I see plane on Auburn there, but Skyline. there's one Auburn somewhere Auburn out over overhead of us. He's, he's turning left downwind, so he's the one that's right here. He's about to make that right turn into, into left downwind. Okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, Go down a little bit more, and basically aim the the plane towards the center of the airport. Yeah. Okay. Center of the runway, rather. Okay. Not too fast. Yeah, no, it's okay. We'll we'll be fine. Just about 600 there is all right. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike is four miles southwest, joining 25 left on the 45 downwind. Auburn. That was a fucked up radio call. Auburn traffic, 24261 on the go, staying in the pattern. 25, Auburn. Skyline 2 Bravo, Romeo turning base uh, Auburn for 25. So he's out there turning left. Really can't see him. Oh. We know where he's at. There's another plane that just took off that's going to be coming out towards us. He's at 72. Two Bravo Romeo turning final Auburn. 2-5. There he is. I see him now. Yep. Okay, so that's our final traffic. Yeah. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike is two and a half miles out from joining the downwind on the 45. I have final traffic in sight, not taking off traffic. And we're going to start our uh, just a gradual right hand turn. 1,100 feet below. Should be out here somewhere. There he is. Cherokee on uh, downwind has the upwind traffic in sight. Auburn. Make a gradual right. Okay, in our descent checklist, we're going to turn fuel pump on. We have gump, so it's gas, undercarriage. So gas is on the proper tank. This pump is on. Undercarriage is down and welded. Okay. Uh, our... Open traffic, 24261, turning left, downwind, 25, open. Uh... Right, and then uh, our propeller is fixed pitch, and our seat belts and switches are all attached. So we're I beam the numbers. We're just about pattern altitude. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike is downwind for 25 Auburn. Okay, so we're at 1500, one notch of flaps. And okay. I'm going to take primary here, but you can yep. shadow me. Okay. So right at pattern altitude. If uh, you look over to the right, you'll see that big bridge over there. That's kind of cool. Yeah, four still bridge. Yeah. <laughs> and now we're going to make a left hand turn. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike, left base 25 Auburn. Okay, I see you. 100. The approach can be deceiving because there's terrain between us, so we need to make sure that we're not scared of the terrain that's between us on the runway. I mean, we need to be here, but we have to realize that there's a hill there that we have to reference and can't freak out about being kind of looking like we're going to be below that hill because there actually is a valley that goes into the runway, as you can see. Yeah, okay. Okay, and we're Auburn traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike, final 25 Auburn. And you notice the runway also goes down. So, uh, 
still, it's not the most ideal for landing, but we also have an up at the end that will help us slow down too. Okay. So we're just about on a perfect glide slope here. We'll intercept it in one sec. You see the two white dots on the left? Two the lights? Left. Yes. Yeah, that's our, uh, it's called a VASI, a visual uh, approach slope indicator. Okay. So the white says we're uh, too high. White over white means you're a kite. Okay. Red over red means you're dead. Yep. And um, red over white, you're all right. So we're just looking to intercept here, which is a second. As you're above is my biggest concern. The wind should be right down the runway, so we're... Three, zero, at four knots. Visibility more than one. So it's a little bit of a right crosswind. On glide slope. And so you might see us, the plane, like, point to the right a little bit, but we're going to counter that. So we've made the runway. We're going to reduce power. Come down here, over center line, and we will air nice and close, right there. Don't land, don't land, don't land. Look at that. Goodness. Oh. <laughs> better than the airlines, huh? Wow. Way better. <laughs> well, how come you pop in a wheelie? Uh, because we're using the air to help us break. Okay. And uh, we want to keep the nose wheel out of the dirt so okay. it doesn't wear it. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 63 Mike is clear of 25 Auburn. At your taxi controls. All right, so our clear runway checklist is switched to ground, but we're not going to do that because there is no ground here. And then um, we're squawking altitude. We turn off our fuel pump. We lean our mixture, turn off the landing light, and flaps are stowed, and we bring our trim back to takeoff. And we're ready to taxi. Now we'll open our air conditioner here. And we'll bring up our taxi diagram. So let's go. We'll make the next right in near the CHP helicopter. As long as it's not obstructing that taxiway. I don't think it will be. It looks like the, the Popo is having their lunch. Yeah. <laughs> the sheriff and the CHP there. Turn off autopilot. We'll turn on our vent. Just go around. You're driving. See, go in to the right here. Okay. It's transient parking straight, but I know you get to transient parking this way as well, so I don't have to backtrack less gas. Okay. Okay, we're gonna make a left here. traffic to the front. Cafe is over here right where the uh, lattice is. A nice tumbleweed to welcome us to Auburn. Oh. <laughs> Just like I would expect. <laughs> they relabel these? used to say transient. They did. Well, shit. It's not numbered. That looks like transient over there. Doesn't mean you have to drive out. Oh, no. We can okay. just uh, circle around. But the, this, the, all these spots here used to say transient. Did you get for not following the sign and thinking you know more? Port, I guess, but the sign didn't change out there, but the pavement did. What's that say there in the yellow? Weird. I fucking read that. Sunshine flyers. Okay, that's not us. Uh, I think we'll try over here. Almost looks like they just park right in front of the restaurant. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Why not? To trip, I love it. Well, somebody yells. Auburn traffic. Satavia so five zero four six. I mean, even if they do, fuck them. Two five and three. Definitely, oh, get, we'll definitely other, turn in some heads. <laughs> oh, it's because this is some other aviation thing. It says there, so we're gonna. Okay. <laughs> 
fucked. There's normally it says on the ground where the transient parking is. Make us park way over there, maybe. Maybe. It doesn't say on the. Can someone advise where transient is at Auburn? It looks like it moved on me. The transient T's aren't currently marked the correct color, so you can park at any T without a number. Roger, thank you. You can also park in front of this curb right here by the fuel island if you want. Okay, right here. Uh, all right, I'll try to go over here. It looks like there's a spot over here. And then can I get fuel when you're done? You got it. I'll be over next. Thank you. Traffic is 24261 left downwind. 25 only. I see that. They just, like, like I said, it used to be here. And he's yeah. just not marked right. <laughs> Alright, so what we'll do is go in here like this, and then we go room. This. Okay, so we got AV off, we got 1.1 flight time. Yep, no light, looks good. Okay, um, flaps are set, field that yeah, actually might be better forward, it kind of sags, I need fills. Alright, engine gauges are checked in the green. We'll go flaps, one. actually let's do this after we make our turn around here. Brakes are released. And this also gives us an opportunity to check traffic on final too. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike, entering 25 for a left crosswind departure, Auburn. Okay, so we go one notch, two notch. Touching runway 25. Okay, we've got radio, lights, camera out. Auburn, Auburn traffic, Cessna 714, Hotel Pavlik, clear the active Auburn. I'm going to do the takeoff just because we're doing a short yep. field. All right, so we uh, short field takeoff. We line up center line. We go full power before we release the brakes. Where we get maximum force just to begin with. All right, we're releasing. We're looking for 55 knots. Air speed is alive. So now we're flying in that ground effect. Yeah. Now we're building up speed. We're at 65, which is VX. Pull back. We climb. We're clear 100 foot obstacle. That one notch of flaps off. Now we're going to make our left hand turn 20 degrees for noise abatement. We're climbing. We're going to get up to uh, 80, 70 knots, last notch of flaps coming off. That's how you do it. Wow. How fast we got off the ground, though? Yeah, yeah absolutely. And you didn't, did you really feel it in your tummy? No. Yeah, see? No, Not bad. Awesome. Oh, there's the disc golf course right down there, Lorene, around that pond. Really? Oh, I see it. Yeah. get us up to uh, altitude, and that way you can enjoy the sights for a little bit, and okay. I'll let you fly on the way back. Sounds good. Auburn traffic, Cherokee 2863 Mike departing to the southwest Auburn final call.
there no response because nobody's in the tower? Yeah, nobody's. Okay. Well, there is no tower, remember? It's just okay. pilots talking to each other, so there's no response because there's just nobody else up right now. Okay. Station 4 Lima Whiskey, turn 10 degrees right, vector for traffic. 10 right, 4 Lima Whiskey. Sovereign that we're over? Yes. Below us? Pretty. We went hiking, it's right back over here. Hold on one second for me. NorCal approach, Cherokee 2863 Mike, flight following request. Cherokee 2863 Mike, NorCal. Just departed Auburn, request flight following to Concord, uh, cruise altitude 6,500, PA 28, slant golf. Purpose 3 1, climb and maintain flight level 1, nine or 0. NIFD has disconnected. Number 286, Mike, select 4537, say current altitude. 4537, current altitude, 2900, 2863, Mike. 36, Mike, radar contact, 5 miles southwest of Auburn, Sacramento, Los Angeles, 2988. 2988, altitude, error correction, the location check, 63, Mike. Resume on Nav. 6-4 Lima Whiskey. Thank you. NorCal, Baron 9, Charlie Mike. Baron 9, Charlie Mike, NorCal. Sir, uh, we're direct uh, IPA from the west, doing the GPS 3-2 full stop, uh, so we'll follow in a good time. Weird right there. The railroad tracks just. I see that. Fair and energetic, Mike, squad 5320. Do you have the weather at Marysville? 5320, and yes, we have the one minute weather. But do you think, what town do you think that is? 31, contact Oakland Center, 350. What are you asking? It's Lincoln off to the right. Station 4, Lima Whiskey, contact Oakland Center, 132.2. 132.2, 2. 4 Lima Whiskey. The railroad tracks just end right just there oh, in the middle yeah, of that pile crazy. of weird shape. Number 2863 <laughs> Mike, contact approach 127.4. 127.4, Mike. Number 9, Charlie Mike, radar contact 7 miles northwest of... South of 1809, 2000, climbing 9000. South of 1809, North Carolina, contact. NorCal approach, Cherokee 2863 Mike, 3500 for 6500. 3 Mike, North Cal, Mooney 5604, Quebec, North Cal. 04, Quebec, where are we with you? 04, Quebec, at or about 5000. At or about 5000, for 04, Quebec. Feel free to take over whenever you want. I'm just, uh, if you're enjoying sightseeing, then you, you tell me what you want to do, so. I'll look for a second. Alrighty. Southwest 1809, contact departure 1237. 1237, South 1809. Number 04, Quebec, descending at your discretion. 04, Quebec, descending at our discretion. Thank you, Zero Tenima, climb at your discretion. On discretion, climb. Zero Tenima, thanks. Sending your uh, text, everybody? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Zero One, climb and maintain 3000. To 3,000, start there one. Our ETA is, uh, we'll just tell them to be there at. This is screwing me up with my fucking time. Give it an hour, it's yeah, hour ahead. 15 36. We'll tell them to be there at 4.
Cherokee 6 3 Mike, you said you're climbing at 6,500, correct? Affirmative, 6 3 Mike. Roger. Don't have to say the whole number every time. Oh, you're allowed to use a nickname when they give you a nickname. Oh. Uh, so if he says 2863 Mike, it's be probably. 806 to maintain. Could be because there's other planes on the frequency that are similar or whatever reason. But if uh, if the controller shortens it to 63 Mike, you can say 63 Mike. If they say 2863 Mike, it's like if I, if I knew you and I was like. Uh, Oh, Corey, right? I'm not fucking up your name? Okay. No, you're not. <laughs> so, <laughs> horrible names. But, uh, you know, formally we would call each other, I would call you Corey, but once we're homies, I might call you Cor or something, okay. you know what I mean? So, yeah. But you don't say the nickname until the nickname okay. is introduced. <laughs> Does that mean we can call you Rye? You can call me whatever you want. <laughs> I respond to just Sorry, about everything. I appreciate if you're paying me. Five zero, back to final. Zero five zero, get straight there, one. All those houses, man. How many? It's just like tracks. That's weird. Tracks and tracks. What, El Dorado? What do you think? Or Sacramento? Oh, this is uh, Rockland, Roseville. Uh, yeah, we're, oh. we're, we're approaching Roseville. You're probably over Rockland right now. Yeah. This Highway 65 right here, so the interchange would be. Right down there to 80, right below. Oh, so the left. Citrus Heights is right over that way. Uh, should be to our left, yeah. Yeah, right over in that area. Folsom's in the distance. Wave, wave hi to mom. Mom. Yeah. All the traffic, too. Not in it. Not in it. You're flying over it. Too bad I gotta go home in it. <laughs> exactly. Stop. <laughs> I have more room on the plane, I'd take you back, but then you would be out without a car. So. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Still got to work the rest of the week. Yeah. Traffic doesn't look too bad right now on 80, but pretty, pretty moving. Yeah, it'll be. But I was going to say, I'm sure once we get to the other 80 interchange, uh, uh, business 80, it will be all fucked up. Yep, where they all come together in downtown. It'll be screwy. Exactly. Starcal 25604 Quebec. We'll go ahead and cancel flight following. Thanks for your help. 04 Quebec, Spock BFRK should advise you approved. Have a good day. Yes, sir. You too. 04 Quebec. Pretty hazy out there. That uh, it's way more hazy right now. Yeah, well, like I said, that's nothing. Like, yeah. <laughs> yep. we, if, you, if you look at the bigger picture, yes, it's hazy, but we can see like 200 miles. You know? That big mountain over there is Mount Dablo. Yeah. I don't know if how you, you uh, flew when it was all fiery. It's a little tense. Yeah. Um, over there, if you see those two big stacks, those two uh, energy plant stacks. Yeah, Rancho Seco. Yeah, I don't know the name of it, but uh, that's kind of out just uh, southwest of Ione. Yeah. Oh, so Jackson's kind of over in the, the foothills that way. Oh, that's yeah. one of my landmarks on the okay. way to Jackson. Okay. Yeah, it is called Rancho Seco. Okay. Nuclear power plant, they shut down. I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think it's decommissioned, but. That is. I wanted to fly over it, but I didn't want to get a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> or glow. Yeah. 2,800. 2,800, he says. Sorry, 01, commercial jets 040. coming into Sacramento. 040, That was pretty quiet when we came in. We're, we're, uh, by the time they get to where we were, they're probably also on tower frequency, but there wasn't really many arrivals or departures going on when we were over there. I, I saw. I didn't see much, and I don't see anything now. I mean, they're making a loop or American 1332 out of 2.5 for five. Target 1332, North Carolina, Fox, you're ready to contact, flying 110 back to traffic, climb and maintain 9000, expect our stop. Okay, 110 on the heading and we'll uh, maintain 9000, American 1332. SR806, turn off heading 310. Got another uh, marker for you to be reminded. reminded. What's that? Did you just set something? I set an altitude marker up here so you can see it's above now, that's the one you were using before. So oh. notice there's no blue around here. Okay. What's up there, and it says my, my reminder is a 65. So when we get closer to the 65, it will blink at us, and you'll be able to see the blue come right down into okay. the center of the uh, altitude strip. That's our Cali, the Sorry, 01. On the go for this approach, we'd like to just proceed via far south down for some airwork. The Sorry, 01, roger on the go. Return to frequency on your own navigation. I do return to this frequency. I'll be happy. The Sorry, 01. Okay, 
American 1332, clear direct Dosco. Over there. Oh, yeah. Dosco American 1332. Number 205, Shack contact departure 123.7. 123.7, 205. American 1332, contact departure 123.7. 237, American 1332. Eagle Star 06, turn left heading 250, four miles from Final Fortune, Lincoln 2000, still established on localizer, cleared ILS, runway 22 left approach. 250, 2000, repeat, cleared localizer, 22 left, Eagle Star 06. Mather is off to our left over to the runway there. Yep. Number four, four, Tango, contact approach, 125.25. NorCal approach, 849 area, Lima. 12525, good What's the closest airport to your house, Corey? Uh, soft before North Carolina departure. Um. Field Linda. Number 849 for Lima. You'll be able to see Rio Lindo out your window, too. I think one that we could fly into would be Rio Lindo. Because you can't just go and land. Oh, you can land in Really? You can even land in Sacramento. Really? Oh my gosh, really? Maybe McClellan or. 849 for Lima, North Carolina. Was that one? Sorry, Mather. Yeah, Mather. Yeah, we can land in all those. Didn't know you could do that, really. That's what I mean, the freedom is just immense. You go, that's why it took me a little bit to get used to to go, holy fuck, I can, I really can go anywhere I want. <laughs> so all of these places, including Black International, have what's called an FBO or a fixed base operator. And, uh, so like Signature Aviation, Concord at Sterling Aviation. Look how blue those water ski like, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, they have that travel business travel there, so that's where you would go, shape. basically. You land and they'll provide you fuel, services, pilot lounge, Hill, Southwest, 12, warm 64. cookies, coffee, water, all, all that type departure. of stuff. One, two, three, point seven. It's an airliner straight off our nose there. 1237, oh, yeah. Southwest, 1264, good day. Yeah. 60, Mike Kasha, which over here, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles southeast, about 6,500, climbing, Boeing, 737. Insight, 63, Mike, we'll caution the turbulence. Number zero to Lima, contact approach, 125.1. 125.1, have a good evening, zero to Lima. Six three Mike, contact approach, 125.25, good day. 125.25, good day, six three Mike. NorCal approach, Cherokee 2863 Mike, 6500, and uh, if possible, turn a few degrees to the right to avoid wake turbulence. Turkey 2863 Mike, North Calipro, Charger, you said you'd like to turn to the right, that's approved. Roger, 63 Mike. What was that? Uh, I basically asked to turn a little bit to the right, because the 737, when he's climbing, he creates wake turbulence, kind of like a boat going through the water. Oh, wow. So we don't want to get uh, chopped up in his mess, so we're just going to kind of mill around here for a bit and try to go behind his uh, departure angle, so we don't get caught up in that. That's only because he went pretty much right in front of yeah, us, Yeah, right? exactly. Okay. So we're going to go a little bit to the right to try to avoid his route. So as long as we're behind it, we're fine. But if we're underneath of it or in front of it, it could affect us. So yeah. it'll rock and roll, yeah. See him still going up over there? Uh, no, he's gone now. Okay. He's going at like 400 knots or some bullshit like that. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's SAC International off to the right. You can see the major runways. Well, approach American 542, past 10 for 6,000. American 542, North California, Charger, descend and maintain 5,000. You're doing descent to 5,000, American 542. Yeah, Charger, 542. We should be good now. Climbed a little bit higher too, so we get above his uh, path. Pretty funny how carefree and relaxed it is now that you're. So <laughs> tough. Uh, <laughs> <all> for you. <laughs> yeah. Morning from Sacramento. Executive uh, request. Yeah, now you're all like a tourist. <laughs> 
Nothing really changed for me. Right, 509 and 60, no I does maintain VFR at or below 3,000. I definitely would. Maintain VFR at or below 3,000. Wouldn't change for you, but for yeah, me, yeah. like, I've been just seeing you and you're, and you're yeah, relaxed and your inputs and everything is like, definitely know what you feel and what you're supposed to be doing. I was definitely missile locked on a bunch of things, so. Yep. That's why I said keep your scan up. As long as you physically remember to keep your, your scan, then it's good. We, t we train when we're at the range and, and shooting and whatnot to... Once we uh, fire our, our rounds, you know, they'll say threat, you know, boom, boom, or, you know, however yeah. many rounds you fire. They train us to scan. You physically scan left and right because when you're in a stressful situation, you get tunnel vision. Yeah, definitely. By training every time to scan afterwards, you physically move your body and your eyes with your weapon, you're opening up that tunnel vision. Yeah. Yeah, I've done a bunch of those classes, too. Probably same as you. Yeah. Back on course now. I can feel we have a nice little tail when we're cruising at 130 knots. God damn it. Every once in a while my suction cup gives out. <laughs> can you uh, rotate? There's a little lock on the suction cup. Have you ever used one of those before? Yeah, I can try it. Yeah. Just uh, unlock it and then stick it and relock it. Track 9 or 6 zero. traffic 12 o'clock, 7 miles westbound, Airbus 326,200, descending to 4,000. And I think Corey missed when you were talking about that T-shirt of what. Uh, oh yeah. Pilot said something like, uh, "I'm a pilot. I have 75% useless aviation knowledge, like 10% useful aviation knowledge, 2% math skill, and then the rest is like everything else or whatever." <laughs> Yeah, that was what I remember the most is uh, all the information that all the testing did. Yeah. How come I can't see SAC now? Because uh, it's behind us yeah. and on our left. Airport is? Oh, international? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, right there. The clump of shit in the middle, and then there's a runway on either side. Oh, Only okay. thing right past I see the it. I see it now, yeah. Next to that square building. Exactly. That okay. And you really can't see runways, can you? No, oh, it's hard. You gotta you gotta kinda train yourself and um what to look for. Yeah. It takes like, a while to get used to it. Now that I look at it, I can see like the angles, everything to the square. Right. 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 Heading two nine or zero, descend and maintain four thousand. Two nine or zero, descend for four thousand, field in sight, or I can five forty two. Like a little, uh, looks like a lake community down here off the river. Yeah, there's another one right there I saw too. And oh, if you're right. Seen, yeah, off to the right. It doesn't look like there's an, uh, no, there is an outlet to the, to the river. A few bridges. All the fields are flooded, Lorene. Yeah, I noticed that. Just because of the time of year? Uh, it might be rice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of mandatory. I guess if you had a boat, we could like do a boat plane race from Sacramento to <laughs> Vista. Nine or six zero, <laughs> your cruise altitude. Who uh, see who gets there first? I'd win. <laughs> You'd probably still win. The airplane would win for sure. The difference is you can get drunk. I can't. So. <laughs> <laughs> Not driving though. You. Can yeah. Uh, American five forty two cleared. Visual approach runway three four left. Cleared visual three four left. American five forty two. Uh, so when he told us to squawk a certain number, 4537, basically what that is is I'm putting a number into our transponder, a code, and we're the only person in the air traffic control system with that code right now or in this region. And uh, so that allows him to put in a data block for us that says he's a Piper warrior, which means we're slow as fuck for his planning purposes. <laughs> and at, um, what our begin destination, or what our beginning is, what our end is, and then um, where, what altitude we're going to be at, so they can plan coordination. So he's going to give us Travis approach here in a minute. It's like one two. American five forty two, contact Capital Tower one two five point seven. Have a good day. 
Two six. He'll hand us off to them, so we can preempt that one two six point six. And we'll be ready when he gives us the next controller. Then down here we'll put in one one nine point seven or one one nine point nine actually. No, hold on. One one nine point seven is Concord Tower. Then he might tell us to switch to one one nine point nine after there because that's the south side of Travis. So this is this is just who you are in his system now? Exactly. Okay. So he, 63 Mike, contact Travis approach, 119 or point nine or good day. 119 or point nine or good day, 63 Mike. Gave us the south side just because we're already kind of in the north side, so because he knows we're going past it, so he kind of skipped over the north. Travis approach, Cherokee 2863 Mike, 6500. Turkey 2863 Mike, Travis approach, information, Juliet current at Concord, landing runway 32, altimeter 29 or 89. 29 or 89, and 63 Mike, prior to going into Concord, we'll probably be over in the practice area doing a few maneuvers. 63 Mike, Roger, report when you're ready for Concord. Roger, 63 Mike. Alright, so let's, uh, we've got Travis approach area up here. We'll give it a little bit more before we go down. We can go down lower. Let's see what's our outside air. Or if it's cool enough, we can make a gradual descent down. How cool is it outside? Uh, it says it's 40 Fahrenheit. Not want to go into Travis's airspace. We'll be clear of that. And then I've got Rio Vista over on the left. And you notice those two big ass telephone or a TV towers there. You see those? Not yet. You follow the river down, and then look up. There's a silver one and a black one right towards the end of the, where the river curves, the sharp curve to the right. Okay. But, uh, those are nasty. So Rio Vista is over there where that bridge is. Okay. If my could be correct. Yep, that's it. That's the Rio Vista bridge, and then the airport just to the left of that. We're going to be out in, over in kind of an area between, uh, at the edge of the water, kind of, in between the Swamp Marsh there and Rio Vista. Okay. We'll basically head to Antioch Bridge. It just feels like it's later, like the sun's like getting low, and I look at the clock at 3 o'clock, it's so yep. confusing. Don't shake your head. I'll shake my head. Daylight savings. It's weird. <laughs> we got 121.9 as ground, then we'll go 124.7. See, it already popped up there for me, so I just tap it and it goes right in. Nice. So that's our weather is staged, so all we have to do is monitor two when we're ready to go in. We'll get our ADAS. Clear this. I accept, I expect all navigation after about seven miles, sir. And uh, Roger that, dear point. Bring up our plate for Concord. Bring up our airport information for Concord. Everything's ready for our uh, descent and approach. Look off to your right, you can see Travis Air Force Base, the two long runways. I have an interesting runway set up. They have them both parallel to each other, but they're offset. Travis approach Skyhawk, yeah. Niner 501 Whiskey, heading back to Concord. Request a frequency change and uh, cancel radar service. Travis 01 Whiskey, Roger, radar service terminates, clock VFR, contact Concord Tower. Radar service terminates. We're only 10 minutes out from Concord if we were to go straight there. Contact Concord Tower. Have a nice day, 01 Whiskey. Here it goes. Oh, you can see the golden...